Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, so I am in my mirror corner of the room um, and we are doing something kind of fun. I think it'll be fun. We'll find out <laughs> and see how this goes. But I will be doing a makeup video for Beetlejuice. I don't do makeup tutorials. I am not a makeup person. I don't wear makeup on an everyday basis. I rarely wear makeup, period. As in, I wear it at conventions and that's about it. I really wanted to do this video. Um, it was kind of a spare of the moment thing because on April 17th, I was supposed to be heading up to see my friend Emily up in Pennsylvania. And then on April 18th, we were supposed to see Beetlejuice on Broadway. We had plans, plans were canceled because the world is falling apart. So to make myself feel a little bit better, I decided to do a little makeup video. I figured that I would just kind of show you what I do for my Beetlejuice makeup, um, even though I've only worn Beetlejuice like one time. I just figured that, you know, with everything kind of falling apart, it would just be kind of fun to make myself look like a gross nasty man. Um, with that being said, I have already put on my primer, my foundation, and my concealer, and I have topped it off and sealed it with uh, translucent powder versus my actual uh, setting powder. Um, my translucent powder is, of course, white, so it makes me look extra pale, and Beetlejuice is the ghost with the most, so he needs to be dead looking. Um, which is counterintuitive with the concealer under my eyes because I already look dead looking. Um, but that's not the dead we're going for. We're going for cartoony dead, not I haven't slept in five days. <laughs> so with that being said, let's start this.
are. The final look. Um, so when I wore Beetlejuice at KatsuCon, um, I ended up using just some eyelash glue, which is somewhere in my makeup bag, to hold down my wig front. Um, just because this is so close to my hairline, like everything is just whoop and it's weird. But uh, the wig glue definitely, or not the wig glue, but the eyelash glue definitely helped. My face is super sticky because I have all this mascara all over my chin, this general area. <laughs> it does eventually dry, um, as I wore it at Katsu. Uh, it does eventually dry and it does eventually feel like there's nothing on my face and then I scratch it and I'm like, oh crap, I have so much stuff on my face right now so but uh here's the final look it's uh I have no pins no bobby pins in this wig right now it's just kind of sitting on my noggin yeah if I was if I was to actually like put on my costume and like walk around town like this which I mean maybe it would scare people into staying inside stay home I'm trying to have Halloween people. Normally my full makeup, I've got it down to where this takes about an hour, 30, 30 minutes to an hour to do. It depends on how uh, carefully I'm doing the mascara beard. As you see, I have spots where I definitely went swooping too fast. Um, but yeah. yeah, see my face is starting to feel less sticky at this point. So this is my makeup. If anybody wants to know, I've been using Mayron Paradise paint. That's the greens that I've used. Um, and actually at Katsu, I didn't actually use the lightest green um, because I was running late, <laughs> so I didn't want to take my time. Uh, but yeah. I would probably... If I was going to like an actual convention, I would probably make my contour a little darker, but haphazard. I feel weird. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope this made you feel better. This actually made me feel better. I really enjoyed cosplaying Beetlejuice. Uh, hopefully the world goes back to normal and I can cosplay him again. It would feel really good. It would feel really good if I got to cosplay Beetlejuice again. But yeah, with that, I will see you guys next time. Bye!